Hello and welcome once more to me, myself, and I playing the Darkest Dungeon. Uh, we've got a lot of money. We've got an A-team. Maybe we should think about investing in the A-team. Not the guild, the blacksmith. Try and improve their their hitting power. Uh, we already have. Is that valuable? Speed. Crit. Maybe not. I think we should do it anyway. I do tend to use that. Uh, it misses a lot, because it's shit, but I'll do it anyway. Um, the, the Nomad Wagon just gives us trinkets we can buy, not hugely valuable. Uh, we have a Plague Doctor. We've got, we've got Plague Doctors. I like Grave Robbers though, so I'd very much like to be able to increase the size of the barracks. I assume, I believe these people stay around until we recruit them and then they get replaced, so... Let's go. Let's go and get some pieces of paper. Wield. Short apprentice, 90% of rooms, and we get a Vestal Virtuous Chalice. Virtue Chance. That's uh, a virtue is when, if you hit max stress, you can actually become virtuous rather than, like, debuff. You get a buff instead of a debuff, uh, and you, you become bolstered rather than desperate in some respect. So, uh, no. Let's uh, spec out our team, which is going to be Ed, me, Pete, and D. The usual suspects. I think that's a common name for the first four things that you get. Or something. Do we want to change these? I like disorienting blast, but we could try. Uh, we could try the plus twenty-five percent damage. But we don't need battlefield medicine, and incision has a bleed on it, and blinding gas has a stun. So yes. Let's change what Pete has. I keep clicking on the wrong fucking one. Pete, get in there. We will take blinding gas. So now we've got a lot of uh, opportunity to beat the crap out of the things at the back. Which can often be... Uh, that one. Which can often be the most difficult ones to deal with. You're very... Um, you're very red, Pete. You've got a lot of red quirks. Which I'm not a fan of. But that's okay. We'll let you live. God-fearing kleptomaniac. Yeah, you're going to nick stuff as we go along. But this is a decent quantity of stuff. Plus 10% damage if torch above 75, which is where we've been trying to keep it, at least early on. Damage. More damage, but... And less stress. Okay, so we can beat the crap out of beasts, which I think is good for the wield, actually. Generally, melee damage. Well, that's, these are really good for the wield. I, I'm a fan of. And you have Holy Lance... Which can be slightly valuable if you get shuffled around. Torch, prop, mark. Do we have anything that benefits from marking? Yes, pistol shot. So we could lead with a bulwark of faith, mark something, and then let me shoot the crap out of it when I get a go. That's pretty good. Open vein, tracking shot, just buffs me. And point blank shot is also good if we get shuffled around, but again... I'm entirely bothered. Ah, oh, maybe. Hardly ever use that. So now I can start in the first position, but I have to go first. I don't have to go first. Yeah, I, I, I think I have to go first, so I move back again. So we won't do that, because otherwise I might. If if Ed goes first, I use pistol shot. But if I'm not in the, if I'm not behind Ed, I have to use point blank shot to get into pistol shot range, and then. I don't know how long a mark lasts for, so... Uh, don't forget trinkets. We've done that. We've sorted out there. And D's skills are... We have Illumination, which is a debuff. But I'm kind of using most of these. Part of heal isn't very good. But it may get better when we put the, um, the trinkets on. So let's do that now. Let's get all trinkets. Uh, we have... A 15% heal skill. I think a stun resist is actually very valuable for the healer. Because D has been actually stunned uh, in the past. You don't have a bleed, I think. What you really need is a blight chance. Oh, I don't really care about that. Then. I think... Do I have a bleed? Yes. So, let's put the bleed stone thus. 
And then you will get... Okay, those are people... Oh, highwaymen only. Plus two crit. Minus three virtue chance. That's okay. Let's do that. And then we might as well take... A debuff resist. And a bleed resist. It's a lot less dodge though. I don't want to take that much dodge off me. Off of Ed, so... I guess we'll just uh, go like this. We'll go into the wield. We're going to want some anti-venom. We're going to want some shovels. We're going to want some medicinal herbs, but as a result, we'll only take eight food. It's only a short mission, but the medicinal herbs can give us a lot more food in the future. We want a couple of these so we can... Most of these are in order to uh, pick things up as we go along. And I'll take eight torches again. And a key. Two keys. I have a premonition that two keys are going to be important on this particular run. It's only a short run, but I keep always filling up half my inventory before we do them. Each region has its own challenges. So I should probably be paying a little bit more attention to what's going to happen. Now they are as Holy crap. As my own ambitions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have to do all but one room. So we might as well do the ones with no combat in them. No, no maybe not actually. Hmm. Like, this one has more backtracking to do than this one. So we should do that one. Let's go up here. Oh, Christ. <laughs> That's really awkward. There's no way of doing this without a buttload of backtracking. So we'll just walk. Let's just go. Jeez. We've got, we've got 60, 90, 70, 60. I don't like being the one to have to do this, but... It's like Minesweeper. That does the little O face before, not not the O face, but the you know colon colon O. We'll use the torch and pick the torch. Is lit. The path is clear. Uh, we require only the strength to follow. One of my fondest childhood memories is probably of holding down the button, the square on Minesweeper, uh, and sort of holding it there with the guy in this half surprised position, going, "Am I going to die?" Spiderweb, we take. Anti-venom. Shit, I thought it was anti-venom. In that case, it's bandages. There we go. We've got a lot of stuff. That's good. The, the cash payout from it. Oh, of course you use it just as I'm about to torch. The cash payout could be very valuable here. Right, so I have actually gone first. <laughs> very well. I guess we great shot blast. Or pistol shot. Or... Oh, I have to use it first in order to buff myself for the next time. You dodged. You know, men are dodge. We did get more scousing when we got dim light, which is odd. So you spit at the marked one, which is not brilliant. Ten damage and a blight. We'll take an anti venom. Shush. Yeah, we should. What is it going to be? One damage for two rounds. So it's two more damage, which takes us to ten. We're at half HP and we can heal ourselves for, like, a bunch. I mean, I'm thinking it might not be worth using an anti-venom because we can get so much more out of it just by... what? What's the point in plus 15%? Um, okay, now we've got stacked up twice, so we're probably going to have to want to actually use it. Uh, okay, dokie. You know what? Play them at their own game. Blight resist 20%. Damage and speed. Uh, how long does it last? Doesn't say. So I think it lasts forever. Wow. Okay. Give them no quarter. Just thought you know, spread around the damage a little bit, but uh, that's what happened. Was it? Fucking owned it. So that's good. I can't shoot the one at the front, so I have to remember that as well. But those things are very easy. They didn't take any damage at all. It's a kill. All right. We'll use that even though I didn't want to because we stacked a, a, a blight on us there. And Two damage per tile that we walk is quite a lot of damage per tile that we walk. Now, Pete isn't going to take any stress for walking backwards, so that's valuable. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. It means that, um... Made clear. Fuck's sake, Pete. Well, it's a good thing Pete won't be taking any stress damage from that, from walking, because he took all that stress damage from that. For fuck's sake. There's no combat. I want stuff. Combat usually means loot. Fat loot. You see how we're uh, getting a lot more stress whilst walking around now? I think I'll let the light drop. Um, I 
not sure, but I don't think that we can be... Um, I don't think we can get combat in the tile we've already walked in. Could be wrong. We're about to find out, I suppose. I suppose we'll find out whether I'm wrong. We won't find out when I'm right. No. Yes. We can't find out when I'm right. So I might have to backtrack a second time here. We'll, we'll use a torch now. It actually went down a lot less than I thought it was gonna. But it's combat here. That's okay. We're in the right positions. Surprise! Yes! That's nice. So what's your HP? It's 10. Well, this did 11 last time I used it. Right. Or just don't hit us all. That's also an option, I guess. Not just blast. We'll do uh, we'll do the emboldening vapors again. I think that was a good start to combat because when Pete gets a go and uh, you know I could plague something, but honestly, letting the paladin at the front beat the shit out of something is quite valuable. In fact, I suspect that this is what did it. Seven to thirteen, eleven and nine. That's a shame, because we can get diseases from these rabid rushes. Or bleeds. A crit! That hurts. It's stressful for us to be crit against, just as it is de-stressful for us to crit in the first place. Can I have a go? No? Alright. Quick win, Jim Pete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We understand bandages. We might as well Noxious Blast this. Maybe we should have not just blasted that one. Tend to find that the wrong hero has a go. Brilliant. Um, like Pete doesn't have anything that can do so much damage as to actually kill that. Oh, it's only actually got one HP. Thought it had two. Uh, we'll smite it. Probably could have dragged out some heals there. I believe that if you if the the combat round goes too high, the your uh, party starts getting stressed out anyway. So. Yeah, we'll use this and forfeit anything that might have value in future. Excuse me? Oh, you're here. You're... <laughs> okay, maybe we should have taken more bandages. Although you... Don't have the thing that cures heal and... Right. I mean... You do have it. Holy shit. We can fucking change during. Well, oh, that's valuable. I'm not using that, and I am using that. Right. Good. So you have the thing that can cure bleeds and blights now, which is really valuable because we're in the wheels. I'll go to this battle room with treasure, because it's a battle room with treasure. Hello? Treasure. Of course, you can't heal yourself out of combat. Oh, you're going to kleptomaniac this, are you? And... Nope. Can't have it. Look at what we lost. Yeah, yeah. Dick. We will use the shovel. My premonition about two keys has not yet come true. In fact, we haven't found anything to open. Ah, here's one though. Rabbit dress is a bad start. Don't fancy that. Okay. You have high prop. We have some prop. You have high dodge. You have prop and you have prop. So we need to blight them, motherfuckers. Let's just try and get rid of this. We'll pistol shot it. Pistol shot one of those? Now we'll try and get rid of that. Yeah, that was the top end of the damage and, and it worked out really well. Um, we could stun something. I find that experience, like my memory tells me that it's a good idea to try and stun this son of a bitch, but I don't work too well. Yeah, we resisted both of those, which is really good. So you can cure your bleed straight away. It's a good thing you can target yourself with that. Yeah, good. Dodges that. I think these can uh, mark you. And blight you as well, that's pretty bad. It's only one damage. That's fine. Um, if these mark you and then that gets a, a bonus to the marked one, that's what often happens. Let's see. Like, I could mark this and prop myself. Oh, that marks me. Ah, that changes a lot. Because <laughs> we don't have a mark now. So that makes this less valuable and possibly that more valuable? I don't think so. Nah. 
We'll keep it as it is. It's still a decent amount of damage. Bleed resist, 20%. Prop 33. We could just shoot this really hard and hope for the best. It's only 8 damage though. Max. Five. Yeah, because of the protection on it. See, now I'm using you a lot to get rid of blights and stuff. Whereas I should be using you. Can I do this now? No. Only out of combat. So I don't necessarily want that anymore. Oh, everything here is going to have some decent blight resist anyway. So actually, this is, this is fine. Uh, which is a problem, because they've also got protection, which means we have to bleed them, which is not an option. That only hits the two at the back. That hits the one at the front with Blight, which is not good enough, so we might as well use the heal. Just keep the party alive, whilst the two at the front can actually deal the, the real damage. I don't think this 15% heal skill is doing much against a 3 to 5 range, but... In the future, when we get a higher value out of that heal in the first place, that 15% is going to be a lot more. I want to stun this, because it hasn't had a go yet. And it worked. And then hopefully we get a go before those two do, which is the case. Now what do I do? Let's uh, might as well put some... Oh, you've got uh, Blight, so... Crit for that, which is a good bit of stress relief. And it cures it before my go. Which meant I never actually got any, uh, any damage out of that Blight. We should maybe try and bleed this? I mean... It's a two point per round bleed, which is not a whole lot, but it could bring it into into death range, especially with that slice. That was a um, decent amount of damage against it, considering it has 33% uh, pr protection. These escape clouds are okay, unless they crit. Uh, and of course, the, the actual value of the bleed is quite low, uh, the blight is quite low. And we do have cure, but we can only use it once per round. Uh, maybe we can get... Yes, okay, good. That was perfectly in death range. You're going to do that again. As these stack up, of course, they become a little bit more devastating, but until they stack up, I think we're okay. What have we got here? Four to eight, and it's got six. So we could kill it. Five to nine, and it's got six, so we'll probably kill it. Of course we did nine, so when I was thinking of not hitting the other one, which has a very low chance of dying. Right, you need to get some curing because you've actually still got to go, so the blight will hit you. Uh, might as well do a party heal? Sure. A crit! All threes and a crit for party heal. That was actually really good. I should probably use that more often because um, I want to stun you because I want Pete to have another go to cure my blight. So I don't have to use anti-venom. Yeah. Exactly what we want. Party heal there was actually so valuable that it puts uh, puts the, the the other main heal to shame somewhat. I think we can just kill you now, right? Nearly. And it resisted the bleed, but we've got a couple of shots left. Like Divine Grace is 3 to 5. This is 1 to 2, but it did 3 on everybody. And we could do it again. It's 2s this time. Okay. Maybe that 15% is like a chance. Oh, what? Well, it was uh, stunned, which means we're going to get another game. Why not? Just uh, need to get a go. Yeah, there we go. Sorted. We actually came, we made profit on that. Ooh, jester only. We haven't got any jesters yet, but we will do. Brought low and driven into the mud. Hidden compartment. Are we going to run out of space? No, not quite. Good. Good, good. This is very valuable and yeah, we made um, we made profit in the short term in the sense that we now have more HP and slightly, well, slightly more stress but we're better off combatually than we were before, that's for sure. And it was a, a good room to go to because I uh, got to use my key. And I think if I get to use my keys then this was... Um, yeah, we don't have any bandages left. Should have, uh, should have used the torch before we came in here. Ah, uh, maybe not. Because it's a higher chance of surprise monsters. I think we only need to do this room, but... I'm thinking we're doing so well we should check the last room for combat. 
Glad I brought two shovels. I could have brought a third shovel to open that, but I'm not going to dig through it without a shovel. It's a bad idea. Yeah, we'll keep adventuring. We've got some space for more stuff. We've got a key, which, you know, I I premonitioned would be valuable to us. In radiance, may we find victory. Anything in here? Yes. Gold. That's fine. It's more than fine. It's valuable. Because it's gold. Gold is a valuable thing. There's nothing here. Premonitions. You have done me wrong. Uh, can we do anything to get rid of stress before we leave? No. Can we go anywhere else? No. There's a curio here, but I'm not going back for it. Good. That was a very valuable, very lucrative mission. We got... Uh, I couldn't figure out how to skip that. Yeah, I know. Last gasp. Okay. And the Cove Explorer. So we've got two level twos, so me and Pete need to go somewhere else. I knew this would happen, because Ed and Dee have been on other missions with other people. Which... Uh, I feel a little bit betrayed. By Ed and Dee there. I see something long absent it's, it's fine. in the sunken faces of passers-by. A glimmer of hope. A glimmer of hope. Okay. Okay, good. So our A-team is getting up there. Uh, we could possibly do a run with just me and Pete and a couple of other people. We could do a, <laughs> a purely Plague Doctor run. That would be very fun. Are you fucking kidding me? This, no, they've, they've replaced themselves. We've got three jesters. I kind of wanted a grave robber, but I can't fucking update these things. can't believe we went all the way to the um, wield, which is, you know... Mostly deeds. I assume that's what that means. We didn't get any freaking deed. We got some, but not very many. Well, no one's very stressed out though, so we can basically pick anybody we want to for the next mish. Uh, a team has just been out on a mission. At this stage, A team, B team, and C team are basically equivalent. The only difference is that A team has been upgraded in the blacksmith and the guild. It's very interesting and useful to know that you can change your skills during the run. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more stuff. Uh, a lot more stuff. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> no one really needs to go for stress relief. So I think we can basically mix and match for the next run. And I do want to take me and Pete out on a run independently of Ed and D, so that we can try and maintain a sort of a commensurate level of levelling up, although I'm a lot closer to level 1 and level 2 than Peter's. <clears throat> we could do a hugely DPS mission. It's going to be Jack Cree. Like, Pete could be the, the one healer. In fact, we could take Dutch as the healer. Uh, Dutch and Doug. This is very DPS-y, you know, there's no, no HP there. Bleed. Three points of bleed. That's really good. Um, Dutch and Doug. That's going to be front position, third position. Fierce in the second position. We have yet to transform with. <clears throat> Pete in the back. Yeah, I, I quite like that actually. Let's, um, let's set it up now so I remember. So Pete in the back. Doug and Dutch and this. No one's holy, no. They don't even have a name, look at that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, uh, let's go somewhere with this lot in the next episode, but until then, do take care, and uh, thank you for watching.